Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be reacting to One Piece episodes 65 and 66. And I just wanted to do this little intro uh, as kind of uh, to let you guys know about my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash AJ Rich. I stream on there usually every Thursday around 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We usually do uh, stream reaction streams over there where I take... Uh, multitude of things usually suggestions on openings or endings or things like that and uh we we kind of do live reactions to them it's pretty fun actually but i'm also um starting gaming streams soon as well uh i like uh ones that are in my backlog is persona 5 royal which i was in the middle of uh as well as final fantasy 7 remake and a few others that i've been dying to do so if you want to see me in kind of a live format feel free to check out the twitch channel twitch.tv slash AJ Rich. I would really appreciate that. Go follow over there. Uh, I'm going to be using it a lot, so definitely check that out. Um, if you are new to this channel, though, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. Um, I also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash AJ Rich 123 for full reactions and early releases, so feel free to check that out as well. And let's go ahead and start. <laughs> Uh, he is too fast. <laughs> it's like, where is he? Oh, he's right in front of you. Way too fast for you. Okay, send it right back to them. You would think point blank range, it would work, but no. That's why you don't shoot in the middle of, like, an area like that. I thought that went in his face, but it just went in his beautiful locks. <laughs> Damn. They are not the brightest people in the... Wait, did shots just come out of that instrument? Of course it is. Why would I think differently? He would not be out there if he didn't think so. He knows he can defeat you. No wonder, you know, why else would he be out there? <laughs> How has Luffy's stomach not gone down by this point? I guess the mass consumption of food must have been enormous. <laughs> all the typical, you know, all their typical things. <laughs> so she was faking. I was gonna say, she said that she didn't want alcohol and then it, she was seeming like she was drunk. Oh yeah, his new swords. <laughs> Didn't quite work. It's an old bar brawl. The swords are sharp, for sure. <laughs> Holy crap. Was it? Jesus! I... Wow. That is pure strength. <laughs> Why are you sending the kid out to try to stab him? I, yep, I knew it. I knew it. Which he technically doesn't have. <laughs> But we've seen him, you know, go, we've seen him be soft to, you know, to people. <laughs> oh, okay. Now she can kind of go through their stuff. Well, what do you expect? The whole place is just full of graves and crazy people like this. Oh my, okay. Why are they all hanging on a ladder against one person? This is what I never understand. Yes, it's one guy, but he's pretty much toying with them. Ah! Oh no. Brass knuckles. Well, definitely the strongest out of all of them. God. An actual threat? Oh, 
Yeah, not a threat. Fucking, that sounded like crushed cranium right there. Gotta give it to Zoro. He gets some good one-liners. I, I, <laughs> it's not like we really saw any of those guys as a huge threat, but uh, that uh, muscular girl there, like, definitely seemed uh, to at least be more of a threat than all the the regular random town folks but man when you think about it why are all these town folks crazy and like part of this group and everything they're in the middle of nowhere on an island uh you know probably have nothing better to do and they're just waiting for people to enter you know enter the grand line and enter this area so they're all pretty delusionally crazy especially if you can put up an act job like they did acting all excited and partying that's probably all they do they probably do the same thing every single time right so uh, yeah you would go a little nuts i mean when you're sending out nuns and little kids to stab you and then you can do a you know little fake act and then try to still be that threatening it doesn't matter what kind of person you are in this town they're all you know, pretty, pretty savage, unfortunately. <laughs> it's probably pretty surprising to them. They're probably not used to seeing their better people get, like, wrecked like that. Yeah, and they're not even in charge. There's a higher boss here that they keep talking about, so... I wonder how big their organization is. There must be seven through one, two then, right? If you're numbered like that, so there's more powerful ones than them. <laughs> what the hell? It's a, it's like a chocobo, except a really, you know, bad chocobo. Using those baseball bats. Those swords are definitely a massive upgrade for him. He's not, he's really not even trying. You need to, you know, figure out where you're jumping, you know, see where you're leaping before you leap. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Gotta give it, she's cute. I mean, I don't, that's not gonna work on Zoro. It would probably work on me. Oh, okay, so it's, the perfume is like para, uh, paralysis. Huh. You know, maybe she needs to invest in a horse. <laughs> you beat yourself, man. You literally, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't that backfire, though, if he's stronger than you? Hold on, the chain right there, wouldn't it backfire? Like if the if the cha if the the guy that you're chaining to is stronger than you and he pulls, I mean technically you could get your arm ripped off or you could uh, or you're at least going to fly back the other way. I think that's probably not the best type of weapon to use in my opinion, especially against Zoro. <laughs> He is always sleeping through the important things. <laughs> what the fuck? He is a literal toy. He has weapons hidden in his hair. Exactly. This is, he's stronger than you. That is such a horrible weapon to use. Oh. Yeah, they, these guys do not stand a chance at all. It's obvious in the beginning, but still like those new weapon upgrades for Zoro though. They, they cut pretty well. <laughs> and Luffy wakes up after the action. <laughs> oh, these two guys. Oh, more of them? 
But why? Oh, okay, he attacked that. Or... Of course, there's more of them. I mean, they were technically attacking their own, though, so... Wouldn't they help their own? Oh, okay, so they got sent after Luffy and them. Then, that, that makes sense. So they're blindly... <laughs> if it's a mystery, they're blindly following. <laughs> Your hobby is to be a king. Okay, so they're not talking about Luffy and them? So he's the one that found out secrets? Okay, this turned into something completely different. Is that... It's the same color hair. Is that Miss Wednesday? Okay, let me process this for a second. Now that I think about it. Like... So uh, they're they're after somebody that had that's found out their boss's secrets, right? So these guys are higher than the one Zoro uh, the one Zoro was just fighting. But now he's uh they're cuz they were talking about the single digit numbers, but something I kind of noticed was not all of them like the the ones that were higher up actually had numbers, right? So I was thinking like either they uh they're just the same level or they're stronger or whatever but this is interesting. So they're saying the uh you know the the higher up guy there that was in charge, he's the head of security. He they're saying he's the one that found out the secrets uh along with a this uh blue-haired girl. Or it's like kind of like a like a lighter blue, but it looks exactly like Miss Wednesday, right? So is that a disguise name or something? Is that, uh, or is that even the same person? Sometimes I kind of, you try to associate with color hair, but even the face looks the same. So I'm assuming that's gotta be her. But uh, they said, um, God, did they say princess or something? I don't know. The whole thing is confusing. Uh, like, because he's where, like, <laughs> that guy's a fake king. You got, uh, you know, number nine. He's like, I'm just, how do you become, how do you become a king as a hobby? How do you play? I guess you're, you know, you're just playing a king. Maybe he wants to be a king. Um, but a lot of que a lot of questions diving from that last two minutes. We have another episode, so I'm not going to dig too deep into this. Uh, but I'm it just it's curious. But with Zoro being able to defeat those guys and so with such ease, really, um, does that mean that it might be not still not as difficult him fighting them? Or is the difference in power between um, those numbers a lot, you know, a lot broader? We will see. Let's uh, let's go on to the next one. Yeah, Luffy is back asleep down there. <laughs> so they infiltrated this group as part of an actual kingdom. So there's more to these people that... That you can just kind of see. Yeah, see, they didn't even know. Yeah. Alabasta. Yeah, this changes everything here. I thought all these guys were just a joke, but there seems to be more in play. That's actually kind of, that's kind of weirdly sweet a little bit, even though I, I don't know about this. Oh God. Yeah, we. <laughs> Wait, that was literal fire snot? After you just, they just kicked their ass. Oh. Of course they do. They both have devil fruit powers. Wait, do all the number? Obviously, Mr. Nine didn't in the... What the? Okay. So some of them do. 
Wow, this is this is plot is out of nowhere. <laughs> of course she does. <laughs> Money. Exact. That's what I thought. Of course, but like we know how Luffy is, so. <laughs> Oh, he's not high enough, like high enough in the food chain to be able to do that. Well, yeah, if she's a princess, then I would think she would have a lot more money, right? <laughs> not gonna do it yourself, Nami? <laughs> So, oh, she's playing the card, my money is your money? <laughs> he still has the guts. Oh, yeah, she did. She did. Uh-huh, yeah, interest. Okay, never borrow money from Nami. Good to know. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> she... <laughs> oh, you gotta love Nami. This is, it's crazy how much this is flipped though. He obviously cares about that place. Her and her chocobo. <laughs> she must know she doesn't stand a chance against them. I do like that they, without even knowledge of this, they, they're still loyal, even after finding this out. See, they didn't have a chance against Zoro, so I don't see this going well. Ooh. Yeah, that was very fast. Oh man, it's funny. Last episode, like the last couple episodes, it was feeling more like a one-off. Zoro's gonna destroy, you know, destroy all them, and then it, you know, it, these characters were just, you know not much to them that's what it felt like it felt like they were a gimmick right like the uh you know number nine number eight or mr nine mr eight all them like they they uh you know eight and then uh seven like all every all these numbers like didn't feel i don't know really know how to explain it but immediately it changed like i just didn't expect this type of change this fast that's why it's kind of shocking to me now there's a uh you know a kingdom with a princess like did anybody guess this type of plot would happen out of like this joke town that zoro is literally annihilating like seamlessly easily he's destroying everybody i never thought there'd be a, a thicker plot like <laughs> lack of a word thicker plot uh than this like i i like in the middle of it it's kind of it's just surprising to me and to top it off these stronger numbers these stronger guys in this organization have um have abilities as well the, the and that's and it doesn't even seem like they're using them so what is their abilities very surprising how something just like so such a simple plot turns into a bigger plot bomb man bomb bomb for okay answered my question that quickly kilo kilo that's kind of a strong one you can make yourself insanely heavy. Yeah. Oh, wow. The bomb exploding one is is rough, but both of them are good. They definitely meant a lot to her. He has to continually pick his nose. <laughs> I guess nobody can make fun of him for it, because he'll just do that. <laughs> Now he's gonna have to wash that sword. Yeah, see? 
I think Zoro sees the bigger picture, but also, you know, Nami. See, that's insane to me because that that depends on a like a humongous amount of trust. Oh, it's it's that type of scam where it's more of like a humongous promise, it's like the sense when you uh when when you go and you like you know like a game like a uh, like a game and you're you're paying for a game early and like for like early access and you're buying land and you're buying like your titles and stuff you put this much money in and then the game is in development for 7 years through and it never it never actually becomes anything and you all you did was put this blind trust into this like big gaming project that never surfaced so your land that you bought and the title that you would have got if the game ever was created never happened i feel like that's what they're hoping for a game that uh, like the chances of it developing never developing it's all about you know hoping for the future like hoping this actually happens and Luffy decided to fully wake up. <laughs> what did he do? What is happening? Oh, my God. He questioned the wrong person? Oh no, Luffy. <laughs> he doesn't know. Luffy, you gotta get more information, man. <laughs> Will Luffy listen to reason? No. <laughs> Jesus. This, he is definitely wrong here. Now we're, we're we are seeing a Weakness in Luffy? Welp. Just kick, you know, kick Luffy into them. Do enough damage. It's a bowling ball. Is now is he now realizing the situation? Hopefully. Wait, so she's just gonna put more weight on herself? See, yeah, they're strong, but while she's just char like charging her move or doing whatever. We need to get past simple logic, Luffy. See what's around you and process. <gasps> it's all, this is just so typical. There's this big plot and big fights going on and they're fighting. Holy shit. Actually, if they were going full on, this would be an epic fight. <laughs> It's just hard to take seriously because this is over like, like people giving them food and stuff. Probably not. I would probably wait. <laughs> yeah, you just want to stay out of this completely. It's like there's more going on here, but instead they're fighting each other. They must really think they're strong just jumping into this fight. Wrecked. Wrecked. It's just hilarious to me because there's this 
there's just so much different things going on. We think one thing and Luffy's still in that, he, but he's like three steps. Luffy's like three steps behind from what we learned in the plot here. It's like they go to this place, they get rewarded. They're eating good food. That's all Luffy, Luffy is thinking is like, OK, we, these guys like us. They gave us food. Uh, he sleeps. Then you learn what the actual thing they're trying to do is. And they're part of a different organization. And Zoro just easily cleans them out. So it looks like Zoro, I guess to Luffy, it looks like Zoro just destroyed everybody in a matter of seconds for no reason. But think about this. Doesn't Luffy know Zoro and not like, doesn't he know these people enough where there's like, you would know there's some other reason why they do that? I think... Oh, man, I, Luffy's showing his brain capacity a little bit here, but, I, but at the same time, you're like, oh, he's kind of fighting for the good reason still. It's like, and it's so innocent, you, you know he's fighting for the good, but also he's part of your group he's not oh man it's just it's crazy how behind Luffy is but then there's like this interconnecting plot of you know a princess being hidden in there and uh you know another kingdom and like you know higher agents coming in there because there's you know they've learned a secret or something and there's just all this plot going on and I think that's, I feel like this episode, oh, that's going to be the main focus. You know, they're focusing in on that. And no, it's Luffy upset over Zoro, hitting people that, you know, like knocking out a bunch of people that destroy, you know, uh, that gave them food or, or, you know, gave him food. That's all he can think about. So now there's this them just fighting and the entire, all the, the entire other plot doesn't matter. That's the center. And I think that's hilarious. And in other circumstances, I feel like this would be awesome to see them fight because they're, they're seemingly the the most powerful people in their group. We've never seen them actually like full on go all out against each other. I think that would be cool. But in this sense, it's like it's kind of a joke because there's more to this now. And I, I love I, I wasn't exp I think the reason why I really enjoyed these two episodes. Now it's picking up it like I, I am really liking this because I, I was assuming I don't want to say assume, it was more of it felt the way the plot was going the last couple episodes. It felt like it was one of those you're going to you know go there. You're going to do your thing there going to get destroyed easily by Zoro and then move on but there's so much more to this and hidden plot that I like I am really I'm happy that there was I I'm very interested to see more uh to learn more about this but also like I'm hoping Luffy just kind of you know snaps into place and figure he can kind of figure out hey uh there there I'm a few steps behind here Hopefully somebody can, you know, uh, <laughs> hit him with some knowledge. I guess Zoro is technically hitting him with knowledge right now. Um, but man, I, I think this is something I really enjoy about One Piece is I, I'm obviously the story. The story is very well done. Like it's very interweaved. And I, I even like in slower spots, I feel interested and uh, invested. And but when you can take something that seems so simple and then add all these layers to it, I think it, that's beautiful. I don't know. I, I'm really, I'm really enjoying where this is going. Um, I, I just, I, I'm hoping that Luffy will mature a bit eventually in the sense of, cause he obviously trusts, like he trusts or he trusts that we've seen this, We've, but also He's very simple minded in the sense of just being kind of a one. I, I feel like a one track mind sometimes like if something's thrown in front of him like this, he walks outside. There's people hurt. They say, hey, it's Zoro. OK, I'm mad. Like, unfortunately, um, if you're you know, you're going to be uh, you want to be like ahead of a, a pirate ship and you have a crew, you have to trust your you have to kind of like go past that and trust your crew. There must have been a reason for it. And a, uh, a normal person would think, OK, uh, why was Zoro attacking these people? But I, I think that's if there is any weakness uh, other than the water thing for Luffy, I think simple mindedness might be I mean, just a one track mind might be his weakness because that can get you in a lot of trouble. Like we're seeing here, there's an I mean, there's an overall uh, you know, thing going on here and more plot and more story. And they're, you know, he's fighting Zoro, the one that's trying to like 
protect the princess and the, the the thing is now you can't because you're fighting so anyway i like these episodes uh i hope you guys t uh, did too if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash that like button hit that notification bell check out my patreon at patreon.com slash aj rich one two three uh for the next few episodes and thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye bye